Hi everyone, so this is finally done, my bigger kit um, of goodies. It's pretty much a kit that you could easily make, I think, a journal out of, with the addition maybe of a digital kit or um, maybe some book pages or something like that. So I think I'll start, I'll take away the um, textile part of it, which is fairly big in itself, and I'll show you the paper part first. So basically what I've got here, this is a artist canvas and it's been printed um, with this beautiful old book page. Uh, not book page, it was a antique paper. Um, now um, I have tested one of these. I sprayed it with matte, uh, not matte, um, acrylic finish and I rubbed it and nothing came off because it was printed on the inkjet. So it's it appears to be permanent. So I thought this would be really great with as a book cover. And I'll just show you the one textile I need to show you now. This one, for example, I would coordinate with this. And this is a beautiful linen. It's just a sample. Um, but I thought that could be great as the inside. And you could embroider it. Okay, so that was my thought with this. And I'm probably going to make some as well. Now, before I go on with the rest of the kit, I just, I've just i done them all different. I've pulled out my favourite papers, antique papers, and I've printed them all. So they'll all um, have a linen. I've got the linen in three colours, so um, I'll coordinate it with each kit. So I'll just show you. Please don't ask me for a specific one, because once they're in the kit, I won't even be able to see them. But they are absolutely gorgeous the way they turned out. Now, these haven't been sprayed yet, but I will spray them fairly quickly. Um, but I just think they're wonderful. So these are going to be all the different colours, the covers that there are going to be, all printed on the canvas. So you'll, you will just get a random, random piece. And um, Steph fixed all of these up for me in the computer. So that one there. Oh, this one was a, a fabric. So it was a fabric sample. And they're all antique papers or and that one um, fabric sample there. So I'll just show you them. I think I've got them upside down. I'm turning them around because I'm thinking that that's the direction. Isn't, I mean, they are just gorgeous. Look at that. And the nice thing about this um, canvas is you could also do a bit of embroidery on there as well. There's no reason why they can't be embroidered. So I think they're lovely. And you can do like textile sort of spine and all kinds of things. Slightly, They're just very slightly smaller than an A4 because I had to trim off the border. So that's the only reason. And that's it. that's already a little bit of a spine there. So you just so you can see. Um, oh, there are more patterns in here than, than what I need for the kits because I'm not making that many of the kits because I don't have enough materials. So um, there'll only be a limited amount, but there's not all of not all of these will go in them because um, that would be really fun with embroidery on it. Um, because there, there's, I printed out more than what I need. Okay, so that's that. We'll put that aside. Then, I'm very excited about these. This is, um, look at this. This is from 1821. There are some that are 1818. So each one will have that in there. It's got the seal as well. Um, now, this is a little booklet. It was for a wedding, 1856. Um, someone's written in it. It was all the hymns in there. So, I mean, it's something that you could really pull it apart and have in as pages or in collaging, second song, second hymn it means. Um, yeah, so I thought they were really lovely. So they'll all be different because um, when my mother-in-law uh, mother went away, she went to an antique dealer and she got a whole box of this of stuff like this for me. Um, and um, and so there's they're all different. They're all for different people, but they're, each one will have one bigger or smaller depending. This is some 1700s book page. I wasn't this one had they had put so much glue in it. I hadn't I wasn't able to get all of the pages out whole like this like I try to. But you can easily hinge them. You can easily hinge them and and put them in or use them in your collaging. So there's quite a few of those. And then this is another um, 1800s book, and it's in German. And again, that one was very difficult to pull apart. Um, it was a small book, so I thought it was perfect for this kind of kit because there weren't obviously it was only like that big. So for the number of kits that I'm making, um, that you know there were enough pages for the kit um, for this kit. So that's those. And then um, these are some permissary, permissary notes from 
the second decade of the 1900s and they are absolutely gorgeous and I still had some of those left so you'll get one of those now this is on newsprint and I love it now these are two antique um, I'll reprint this one this one has a bit of lines on it um, it's very they're very faint but they these are antique envelopes that I have and I had scanned them I forgot about them and I thought they are really cool on the paper because that's exactly the type of paper that these envelopes were on so I thought they would be really fun to cut out and also the nice thing about the newsprint paper is it has a nice texture to it um, and it's kind of like a gray color it's not white so you don't really feel like you have to sort of line them I've also put in this 1711 antique letter that I have um, also on the newsprint so that could just be put in as a page in a journal just rip off and I would rip around there with my tear ruler and then you fold it and it can go in as a page and I think that it's nice on the other side you can almost see the writing um, this is from 1872 and it's kind of like one of those manifestos um, I think it was a, a church manifesto I'm not quite yes yeah, sacris, sacratissimo cordi um, I'm not quite sure what it was for, but look at the font in there, guys. Um, so you could, and you can see where the folds were. I think possibly it was sent to someone because it's folded like they used to fold the letters. Um, but, I mean, it would be really cool um, to use as pages, but also scan it before. I haven't scanned. I don't scan things that I send out to people because um, unless I decide to sell my original piece that I had. Um, but, um, yeah, so you, by all means, go ahead and scan away. Um, and you'll be the only one who has the scan. I got, has she got, I mean, my mother-in-law really is amazing. She got the, from this one dealer, she got all this stuff. Now, this is folded the wrong way. And I cannot see the date, but the, some of them were 1852. It's that beautiful paper. It's. I mean, you couldn't even fake it. You really couldn't look at the stamp on there. And, of course, as I said, I have not scanned any of these. So, please go ahead and scan away. So, that will be in there as well. This is also Super 1843. The really, really thick paper. Um, There's some handwriting and... Um, Collegio Campano di Ossimo. I don't know what this was for. This is kind of like a um, a newsletter kind of thing from the church. Um, there's a, There was a seal here. So it's kind of stuck together, but it's double. So you get the two beautiful, beautiful pages there. So it's double. Um, I put in two envelopes um, to include in a journal because they're always fun to include. Like this one's big, so it could go like that in there and then this one you could hinge or do whatever you like with the stamp um, another big beautiful old book page from the mid 1800s there's going i haven't actually got the other piece yet but I, there's going to be two pages from the gazetta di firenze so you'll get the first page and the second page there are only ever two pages so um, i need to put the other page in there and then i had this is a, like a it's from the like uh i think it was um what is it Liberty might have been Liberty this book and it was called the Rasenia di, di Arte so it was all about art so I thought these would be cool things you'd have to decide which side you could make little tags and things out of or put them in as a page in the journal and 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 fold it over and create pockets so you could kind of still see the images so I thought that's fun to play with I put in five pieces of straw paper for pages and collaging um, and then they've each got a beautiful, um, and this is a really, this was a catalog, a Leonardo da Vinci catalog. And um, the paper is really nice. It's matte paper. It's not shiny. And so each of one of his drawings. So again, I thought they'd be really nice. I'd put those in as pages. Um, and then this beautiful, this was a calendar that my mother-in-law gave me. Now you could put a little bit of a tea dye on there. Um, it was from 1952, uh, the calendar. So not that new, but a little bit shiny, the paper. But you could collage on the other side. The imagery, the colours in the in the frescoes are really gorgeous. I think one was Giotto and one was someone else. I can't remember who. But I just love that. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and then I also had a book. Um, it was for high school and it was all about architecture. So art and architecture, I think. So I put a page of that in because they're really fun designs. I also had this catalog. Um, they, these are all antique pieces. I actually thought these would be nice if you um, tea dye it and then use them to embellish tags and things. And then this was also another very old um, art book. Great things to use to embellish pages, I thought. Or put in as a page. And then this is, um, this is also matte paper. This was also a catalog of um, antique postcards for this um 
Port of San Giorgio, that's in, in the market. So um, down the coast from here, about two hours from here. But you'd have to decide which postcards you'd like to keep. But they look old. So if you rip off the white, they look old because they're matte. And then a piece of this wonderful um, ledger paper that I found as well. And they are huge, really, really big pieces. So that's the paper portion. Um, so I think there's heaps in there to get you going making a journal with the cover. Um, really, I mean, it took me a while to sort of work out what I, I've got to remember to put a second page, the first page of that one in there. Um, it took me a while to sort of gather all the things together. I've been collecting for a while, um, but those things are really, really, really precious. Um, and so that's those in my paper bit. Put those on top and now we'll put this on. Oh no, we'll put this on top. So it'll be like that, and then we've got that. And now the next thing we've got is this beautiful piece. This is a linen hand towel. It's antique, and I got quite a lot of them. I had enough to make for these kits. See, they've never been used. Most beautiful linen. I mean, you can use this bit, make pockets maybe here in the journal. You can embroider it. You can do whatever you like with it. You could line it instead of the blue one. So it's very, very big. You'll get lots of projects out of that. Um, I also put in, now I think you might remember a while back, I had bought that um, bedspread, which is the traditional block printing technique here. This is bigger than an A4. They're probably all different sizes because I don't measure them. I just cut them willy-nilly, so they will all vary in size. But nice, I mean, that's another journal cover. Or use it to make pockets, embellishments, whatever you like. Make a pouch. You can do whatever you like with those, so you'll get that piece. This is a beautiful piece of um, antique linen. I've got quite a lot of it um, because I just, the lady at the antique market had more, so I bought the other bits as well. I've washed and ironed. I actually ironed everything, guys. Um, and so there'll be a piece of that lovely floral linen in there. Of course, they will vary in size because I'm hopeless. Now, this is, looks, I did iron this, but this is my favorite hemp of all time. I've never found a hemp that color ever again. I very rarely sell it. I hoard it. Um, and so I decided to include a piece in there, just a little piece, but you can have fun with it. It's quite a thick hemp, but it's just wonderful. You'll never see anything like that ever again once it's gone. I did find I had a few bits of this left over. Um, so there'll be a little em embroidered piece. Again, you can cut it off and use it as belly bands, embroider it yourself, do whatever you like. Um, and then here we have... They'll all have, it could vary depending um, what I had. This is all hand done. This is a very fine antique cotton. You'll be able to see it's got slubs and things in it. So, um, and it's hand done with the cut work. It's really, really gorgeous. So you'll have something similar. If it's not that one, it'll be something very similar. All of them have one of these, which I thought were really great. Um, I like putting even those things on covers as a pocket. And I got that inspiration from, um, like you could have it as a tuck, from um, Carol Laws. She does that on her journals. She puts lacy pockets on the front. Um, now, this um, this particular one came off a pre-shirt. Can you believe that? I mean, he had a really frou-frou pre-shirt. It was really over the top. It was like everywhere. So um, some will have that. Some will have a different one, depending on, you know, I might have run out for the kits. But I put something of similar type if you know what I mean on there then I have these um, vintage trims this is they've this was actually new on the the bolt and um, like it wasn't very big bolt it was like 10 meters or something um, so that's about half a meter um, and um, it's never been used there's a bit of yellowing because it's vintage but it's never been used so it's totally um, clean you can give it a little wash if you want but when they're natural um, it was explained to me that when they're natural <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a sore throat from talking. When they're natural fibres, they do yellow. They get yellow spotting. I also got this as antique. So there's a piece there. It's up, I think it's about 40 centimetres, not quite half a yard or half a, half a metre. And then this antique trim here. And then I also had this antique pom-pom trim, which I thought was cute. It could be stitched at the bottom of a page or the cover. I really love that. It's I don't know if it's vintage or antique. It was on a pelmet. So I had enough for the kits to put that in there. Um, I've also got um, I've also got uh, this printed fabric here. So I printed some of my ephemera and my antique books. 
I thought they'd be really fun to maybe do a little bit of embroidery or stitching bits and pieces of fabric on and make them as pockets or um, cards. And it's on a, um, it's like an actual cotton poplin fabric um, for inkjet printers. I've washed them. They did not fade. I've washed them and I've ironed them already. There. So those are those. And then I'm also going to include three um, stamped antique pieces of hemp or linen, depending what I've got floating around. So they'll all be in there as well. Antique key. You get an antique key in there to do for your closure. And these are very precious things because they cost quite a bit of money here. So I did find, find a man that did a little bit of a deal with me so that I could um, include them in the kits. Um, but yeah, they're really, really pretty. So they're all sort of... Most of them are ornate like that. Um, there's going to be a little bundle of laces for decorating the pages. I'm pretty much out of laces, I think, for now for selling um, because, you know, I haven't been able to get them. There's all different ones in here. So, and, and they will vary because it would it depended on how many I had of each type. So there's all different types and different widths because I wanted you to be able to um, you know make pockets or have things hanging down as well so that's that um, the next thing is I've managed to find some stamps so I don't normally find stamps here but I have found some and so I've put included a few stamps so here we go it's really gorgeous Italian and of course I only chose the stamps that I like the colors didn't I because that's the way I am um, so you'll get all of these each one will have these and then, um, so there's six stamps, and then one of these, but they will be different. So this one has the Virgin Mary, but there's other ones that have Italian scenery and that sort of thing. So I thought they were really cute. And you get a little glassing bag. So everything that's in here, you'll be able to use for the journal making. I mean, there's more stuff. Obviously, you're not going to use all those fabrics in a journal. Well, you might. You might put them in as a page, but... Um, so everything's going to be ready there for the journal. And then they're also going to get this little, little pouch. The sizes will vary because I made them in a very random way. Um, the, you've got these little pouch that I made with hemp and I stamped it. It ties up so that could even go in the journal. Um, and then it's going to have three um, wooden buttons in there that you probably wouldn't put in the journal, but you might like to use them in some sort of project um, as well because I've got plenty of those. To go around and then they're going to be tied up with sari silk they'll be tied up with the sari silk so that way the sari silk can be used to um you know as your closure so for, I, what i will do i've got i don't have heaps of sari silk oh, I nearly fell over just a minute um so so for example for the one for i would coordinate it obviously with the with the um you know with this so I, I would choose something maybe this one with the blues or possibly I would prefer the beigey sort of color but yeah I'll coordinate the sari silk with um, whatever cover goes in whatever kit so that is my big kit it took me a while to sort of think about it and get it all organized um, but yeah I'm pretty excited about it and um, I think as things progress here the things are going to become harder and harder to come by so um, would be digging into the stash so there you have it so I hope you like those and um, they are already in my shop and I will see you again soon thank you for watching bye